I changed my mind regarding the animation for displaying the menu. I think we can do a much nicer one uh, with Pangro interactions and that will also get allow us to get rid of loading the main JS file. So one file less to load and a better animation. It's a good deal, right? So okay, to get started, what do we need to do? So let me disable test click so that we can select the element. Here we have a button that should display the hidden navigation bar. So this is this element at and in it, it includes both the kind of overlay the co that covers the page and the menu itself. We will keep it simple. So let's select the button and go to Interactions panel, Add Interactions. And the first interaction will be triggered on click and Edit Animation. So what will be the elements that will be animated? So one of the elements can be the button itself, but we need the to display this div. And it has a handy class called, called number menu. So we can use this to address the element. So let's go edit selector. And we have to prefix it with dollar sign so that we search the whole page for this selector because in this case select the, the target element is not sub element of the element that has interaction that's the button in this case so let's write dot now bar menu and if we hover over it we can see in the tree panel that the element was kind of highlighted. So that means that the selector is, is good. Okay, so when we click this button, we want to display the element and it has hidden. That means display is set to hidden. What we can do, we can say OK, when this is clicked, remove class hidden. And removing a class happens immediately, even though the, we have a transform that has a duration, like half second in this case, but the remo removing the class will happen instantaneously at the beginning of the transform. So let's test it. Okay, and also we, we need to remove the, the main JS script, otherwise there will be like two, um, two pieces of code handling the same click. Let's also remove it in index because that's the master page. Okay and reload it. So now we can try. And we can see that it works. So click. But the, the menu appears suddenly. It would be nice to animate this. So let's go back here. And so, okay, first we remove the class hidden. But let's also do something else. So at the beginning, we will set opacity to zero and this will be set. So set is, it's not animating the property, but it's just setting it. So what will happen here is, actually we can make, make it even better. So let's delete this and then remove class because this happens 
instantaneously it can be a set and then we can also set opacity to zero so that that means that the class hidden will be removed and it will cause the element to appear but we will also hide it at the same time with setting its opacity to zero so that then we can animate this opacity to one and display the element in kind of smooth animation. So let's add a transform with opacity going to one and taking half a second. Now let's try. Test clicked. Did you see? The animation is now smooth, so not just suddenly that it appears, but it's like nice and smooth animation. And now we have to take care of hiding the menu. And we want to trigger this from two places. So the first place is clicking the close icon. And the second place would be clicking on this uh, background, anywhere in the background. So because we have to call the same animation from two places, it makes sense to define the animation once and then reference it from both of these um, areas. So the animation will happen on the on this now bar menu, so that's that's a good place to define the animation. So let's select it, say interactions, and we'll give it a name. Let's say it hide. And it has no trigger here because we are just defining the animation. And then let's edit the animation. So what should happen? So first we want to hide it smoothly. So again we will set auto opacity to zero. So we will not set, but we will uh, transform auto opacity to zero. It will go from one to zero in a smooth movement. And then once it reaches zero, we want to add the class hidden again. With set, because that happens instantaneously. So why do we need to add the class hidden again? Well, it's a nice kind of practice to restore the state as it was at the beginning, before we displayed this animation. So the class hidden was there. So now when we close the menu, let's also add the class hidden. And this can also have performance in impact because Without class hidden, with just auto opacity set to zero, the visibility of this element will be set to hidden and opacity to zero. While with class hidden, display is set to none. So I guess it depends on the browser, but having set display to none, but might even uh, help the performance so that the, the element is completely taken kind of out of, of the DOM structure. Okay, so now, and let's play this animation. So yeah, it works, it hides the menu. So now we have to call the animation. The name is hide and it's defi defined on the now bar menu. So, Let's select the close button, the close link, and when we close it, let's say interaction, so when we click it, the target of this animation should be up there, the now bar menu. So that's, we will again use the global selector and the animation we want to, to run is 
hide. Let's try it. Okay, it worked nicely. And then we also want to hide animation if this background is triggered. So where is the background? So this is the menu. So this, this is the element itself, but if we add uh, and click here, then even if we select the menu itself, it will also hide the menu. Or if we click anywhere, it will hide the menu. And that's not what we want. So what we need is a kind of element that will be below this element here. So we can add a new deal and let's say position is fixed we don't need the placeholder let's go down to position should be here yeah position will be fixed and it will take take the whole space from all the edges. So let's see. Yeah, if, if, do you notice the element select the selected element? It's there. Okay, and it has no no background. It's just empty div, but still it is there. And then let's add this animation on this deal. So on click, the target will again be number menu, and we will call its height animation. So let's see, will it work? Yeah. How about if we click here? Okay, it doesn't because we are only listening on this div which is behind this element, kind of invisible div behind this element, empty div. Okay, and here this works. And here this works. Okay, quite quite nice. But it would be nice also to have this a bit animated when when we click on it. So let's go back, select the button and edit animation. So what we can do is when the button is clicked, we can simply do a rotate, rotate Z, let's say 180 degrees. Let's play it. It's okay. Of course, we, we could do something fancy here, but it kind of gives us visual feedback that something happened on this button. And we can do the same for the close button. So here we are. Height. It calls the hide animation. So we could also add another interaction. So when it's clicked, the target is itself. And let's just rotate it like we did before. 180 degrees. And let's try. So it the Yeah, not sure about this because it's it remains there while the background is gone. It's kind of strange. So I will remove this one. 
I don't like it. Doesn't feel natural. Um, but now everything else works okay. So we can open the menu, like here, blah, blah. We can click on the menu items. And then when we want to get rid of the menu, we click either here or we click here on the close on the close button and okay one more one more thing we can improve this is a link so actually button is better because links are usually used for navigation and buttons are used for interaction so let's say button and probably have to reload Check. and close it yes and how about this okay this is button and usually when we animate a click on a link it, it's a good practice to also disable the um, like the default event but in this case we don't have to it's a button and buttons are made for this kind of interactions okay so what what to do let's save it and export the team and let's try our fancy new animation here in the browser yeah works perfectly of course this uh, wordpress uh, navigation bar is interfering a bit but it's okay, it doesn't matter too much.